Hello and welcome back to the Crafted Life channel. I am Rachel Mae Smith and I have a project for you today for your next event. Now, if I could go back in time and make this baby's breath garland for our own wedding, I absolutely would. It's a really cost efficient way to add color to any event, any space that you need. Um, and it's a great beginner project if you are new to working with flowers. Of course, you can make this project in any color that you like. I am just partial to color and that's why mine is multicolored. But the process is the same. You just need to learn a few basic techniques to help you do this garland correctly. So here's how to make a baby's breath garland for your next event. For this project, I use Montana Gold spray paint in a variety of colors, and then, of course, baby's breath. I found the best deal on bulk baby's breath at Costco. I ordered about 300 stems, and it was a little over $200. I did have leftover stems, but it is better to have too many than not enough. Once they arrived, I trimmed the ends and then immediately got them into water to help them open up a bit overnight. Now, here are my three tips for painting baby's breath. Number one, keep your flowers in a bucket to help keep them upright and with access to water. Number two, work with short, quick bursts to avoid depositing too much color as you work. And number three, wear gloves so you can run your fingers through the flowers to get into those spaces further down the stem. You don't really need to worry about the stems getting too much paint since they won't be visible in the garland anyway. Once you're done painting, let your flowers dry outside in a cool, shaded place before bringing them inside. This will help so your venue or your space doesn't smell like spray paint. Okay, so my flowers are spray painted. I actually spray painted them yesterday. I let them dry overnight and they are ready to be installed across the mantle. So if you have an event that you are making these for, it is okay to do it the night before. I almost recommend it that way. The smell of spray paint isn't wafting through the event, um, but give it time to dry. Just make sure that your flowers still have access to water and uh, leave them out of the sun, out of the heat until it is time for the event. If you are out in the sun, make sure they last as long as possible. Now to install them across the mantle, you can see I sort of have it going now, but I am using chicken wire. So chicken wire is very durable, very flexible. It'll allow you to get the exact shape that you need for whatever surface you are working on and it'll make your blooms kind of fluff up so I'm building mine in like a tubular fashion uh, and then I'm gonna put blooms all around on the mantle and that'll be the install so let's get into it okay like I said I used chicken wire rolled it into tubes and then secured the pieces together with a zip tie this way there is no gaps and you have sort of one long structure across the surface. You can obviously mold it to however you need. This is just how I did it for a straight across mantle piece. To keep the chicken wire in place, I recommend a command hook. It won't damage your surface and the chicken wire actually just kind of scoops right into the hook and it prevents it from rolling forward and off of the surface. Now it's time to add flowers. So with either your shears or your scissors, go ahead and cut you a sprig of baby's breath. You really don't need that much stem. Um, you just need enough to sort of nestle in the chicken wire. Again, it depends how big your chicken wire piece is, but I found that just like a few inches of stem uh, was great and held its place as I stuffed all the baby's breath in. If you're working with multiple colors, be sure to alternate as you work your way around the chicken wire and you really just want to keep adding baby's breath until you don't see any more holes. So pack it as full as possible and that's really all there is to it. You really just add baby's breath until your chicken wire is completely stuffed. This will hold your baby's breath, bleh, baby's breath in place <laughs> um, and then you should have a wonderful and colorful event. So let me know if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.